uh, patched your uh, simulator version uh, is it uh, NS 2.34 or NS 2.35 uh, while you are creating a topology in the TCL script you can define you have to define the sender and the receiver in order to use the multipath TCP at the following way you will find this um, script like it's previously described in the in the Google archive uh, it is named as mptcp uh, simple.tcl so you can see that uh, first of all uh, you're creating the um, uh, multipath TCP sender uh, you're creating uh, NO uh, as NS node and you're creating NO uh, slash O as NSO and the other interface NO slash 1 you can give them uh, a color of the of the flows and um, you have to multi-home at interface like this after you have done this the multipath TCP sender is created the multipath TCP receiver you have uh, you have to create it like this you're giving the name of the node you're giving name of the interfaces you can color the uh, the the flow of the packages and um, you multi-home uh, add interface uh, you have to add the interfaces set with, with these two commands so after you have created this you can um, proceed with your creating of the rest of the nodes in your script and uh, you can create your topology in order to create the, the multipath TCP center uh, you have to create subflows with uh, the command uh, for example set TCP O this is um, a subflow and you have to give uh, to create new agent slash TCP slash full TCP slash sec slash multipath after you have installed the patch uh, with this uh, command you're giving uh, you're setting the window size but it's not necessary if you don't use it it's going to use the default value since in NS afterwards you're attaching the interfaces the subflow on each interfaces you're attaching it in this case you're attaching TCP 0 at TCP uh, at uh, NO slash O interface you're creating the other the other subflow uh, set TCP1 new agent slash TCP slash full TCP slash uh, sec slash multipath you're giving the window size value and afterwards you are uh, attaching it to the interface uh, as you can see afterwards you attach the subflows at the multipath TCP core you're creating the multipath TCP core with this command you're you're creating new agent from the class multipath tcp so you're attaching tcp uh, o and tcp 0 and tcp 1 to multipath tcp after this is done uh, you're attaching multipath tcp to core node ns multi home attach agent n0 multipath tcp after you have done this, you can attach the application to the multipath TCP core. This is uh, the sender side. Let's see what is done at the receiver side. It's quite similar. You're creating multipath uh, TCP sync agent. You're giving, uh, you're creating new agent and you give all the properties of the class multipath TCP with capital letters. You're creating sync one, uh, sync zero. Uh, it's, it's new agent slash TCP full TCP sec slash multipath you're attaching to the interface uh, n1 uh, slash 0 you're attaching sync 0 and afterwards you're creating sync 1 and the same uh, manner like the previous one you're attaching it to the other interface of the receiving node after you're attaching you're creating uh, you're attaching them sync one and sync zero to the multipath tcp 
sync core and we are attaching it to the multi multi participate sync core to the receiving node with the multi home uh, attach agent command like this at the end you give a command for multi participate sync listen that's all